A warm greeting, today is Monday, September 4, 2023. I am meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 6.30 in the morning local time in the Eastern Caribbean, where we continue to monitor Invest 95. This system continues to show signs of cyclonic development. At least this morning, we have some good news because there is a fairly significant consensus that this disturbance could pass quite far northeast of the Caribbean, between 200 to 300 miles. Although we will continue to closely monitor its evolution and any changes in the forecast, the trends have been very positive for the northeastern Caribbean region. Nevertheless, I ask you to remain vigilant over the next few days as Invest 95 is projected to become a Category 4 hurricane when it approaches the northeastern Caribbean. Any deviation to the left could pose a greater risk to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. If we switch to the visible satellite image, we can see that the tropical wave appears very organized. It continues to have good rotation and is in the process of becoming a tropical depression over the next 36 hours. This aligns with what the European model has shown over the past few days. Looking at the infrared satellite image, you can also see that it is generating some strong thunderstorms that are still disorganized, but gradually concentrating that circulation center. Therefore, there is a high probability that it will become a tropical depression. At 2 a.m., the National Hurricane Center maintains a 90% chance of development over the next 7 days, and the chances have increased to 60% over the next 48 hours. It is very likely that by 8 a.m., the probabilities of development over the next 2 days will increase again, possibly to 70%. The latest projections from specialized trajectory models maintain the forecast that it will move west-northwest at least until next Thursday, and then with a more northwesterly component, which would take the center of circulation of the future hurricane lee between 200 to 300 miles northeast of the Caribbean. We have seen a trend in the models to show a stronger system and therefore a system that moves further away from the Caribbean region. It is also noteworthy that there is a high consensus among these models, which increases confidence in this forecast. Furthermore, when we look at the trajectory forecast from specialized and global models, we can see that there is a very high consensus that it will pass to the northeast of the Caribbean. Currently, it is anticipated to pass at a safe distance, but I must responsibly mention that it is still six days away from approaching the Caribbean, so the margin of error is quite high. We must continue to monitor the northeastern Caribbean. Specialized intensity models continue to forecast that it will become a tropical depression later today or early Tuesday and undergo a significant strengthening process, which could lead to this system becoming a powerful Category 4 or Category 5 hurricane in approximately five days when it approaches the Caribbean. We are talking about a very dangerous system. In fact, look at the projection of the infrared satellite image according to the GFS model for the Saturday night when the circulation center is passing northeast of the Caribbean. Look at the impressive structure that is forecast for the future Hurricane Lee. We are talking about a major hurricane, very powerful, and the northeastern Caribbean would be fortunate if this forecast holds, where it would pass far from the region. Also, take a look at the projection of the infrared satellite image according to the HWRF model, where on Saturday morning, it has a powerful Category 4 hurricane moving northwest and passing about 150 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. Again, a structure of a hurricane that could potentially be a Category 4 when it passes through this region. Let's see what the latest projections from the global models show. Here we have the GFS model, which has had some significant changes during the past night. Unlike yesterday, the GFS model now predicts that Invest 95 will strengthen into a tropical depression on Tuesday morning. Due to this change, it has a much stronger system compared to the runs from yesterday, which would take future Hurricane Lee about 300 miles northeast of the Caribbean. In the morning run today, it has a powerful Category 4 hurricane moving northwest on Saturday night. This is a very significant change from what it showed, for example, in the past few days, where it barely had a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane. Although we are talking about a forecast of a much more intense hurricane, the good news is that this will help it gain latitude before reaching the Caribbean. Additionally, Another favorable trend we have seen in the GFS model is that it increasingly predicts that the high-pressure system could be somewhat weaker than previously forecasted. And we can see that in the trends of the last six runs, where the high-pressure system in the Atlantic is increasingly weaker. This favors a more northerly track and aligns with the European model's idea of it passing northeast of the Caribbean. Let's look at the forecast from the European model. It remains consistent that by tomorrow afternoon, we will have a tropical depression, and then Tropical Storm Lee will undergo a strengthening process into a hurricane when it passes just northeast of the Caribbean, about 250 miles north of the Virgin Islands on Saturday night. It also almost exactly coincides with the GFS model's forecast. This gives us high confidence in this forecast. We also have the forecast from the German model, 
which has a tropical storm passing northeast of the Caribbean. Additionally, the Canadian model has a projection very similar to the American and European models. By Sunday morning, it passes northeast of the Caribbean at a fairly safe distance. Furthermore, the UKMIT model, from the United Kingdom, also has this future cyclone passing far northeast of the Caribbean. And although this forecast is very encouraging and we have high confidence that it will pass northeast of the Caribbean, remember that this is a projection subject to some changes. We continue to monitor it, although the outlook appears very favorable for the Caribbean. Let's consider different scenarios. The ensemble members of the GFS, the majority of them, have future Hurricane Lee passing northeast of the Caribbean. However, some of them bring it closer to the islands north of the Lesser Antilles. While the outlook is encouraging, there is a low probability that it could move more to the west. This is why I ask, especially residents of the northern Lesser Antilles, to remain vigilant to this forecast. At least the ensemble members of the European model all have future Hurricane Lee passing quite far from the Caribbean, which, for now, is excellent news. Now, some have asked me what effects could be felt if the forecast holds, and it passes between 200 to 300 miles northeast of the Caribbean. Well, if it passes at this distance, the expectation is that hurricane and tropical storm force winds should remain over the Atlantic waters. At the moment, it is not anticipated that tropical storm conditions will affect the islands in the northern Lesser Antilles or Puerto Rico. However, any deviation further to the south could increase this risk for the local region. Similarly, you can see that the heaviest rain should remain over the Atlantic waters, and we are simply talking about a few rainy days on Sunday and Monday. We should exercise caution at sea because when it passes north of Puerto Rico and the Lesser Antilles, it is possible that a dangerous wave event could occur along the northern and eastern coasts of the Caribbean islands. Well, that's all for this forecast update. In the afternoon or evening, I will keep you updated on any changes that may arise in the forecasts. I hope everyone has an excellent Monday, until later.